your girl Jazzy A. And I'm back with another video. Well, actually, I'm back in general because I've been gone for like. Let's not talk about that. I've been wanting to do YouTube for like the longest, but life just been kicking me in the. You know what? But this time I'm like for real, for real, because this is one of my biggest goals to like accomplish. So she's gonna get back on her shit. Ladies and gentlemen, you guys get on your shit. Let me not cuss too much. I'm so sorry. So let's get to the video that y'all waiting for. All the tea and everything and everything. I'm filtered here on my motherfucking channel. First question. Are you guys ready? When did you first feel like an adult? That's a good one. Um, damn, I've always felt like older. Like mentally wise, I've always been more mature. I first felt like an adult when I started making my own decisions, like in general, to be honest. When I left my mother's house, I started studying like all on my own and everything you do on your own, you're just like growing and that's adult life. Oh my God, all these questions. I'm gonna need some, a lot of that. What would you do differently if you knew nobody would judge? I know y'all yeah, wanna know that. Little nasty, yes. I would do differently is just be myself in general. Cause I feel like I'll hold back a lot from being who I truly am just so I don't get like judged. So what's a belief that you believe in which many people disagree believe in fucking fairy tales i am already 20 years old and a lot of people are like girl like, you gotta get over that face like girl no period up period up i'm gonna always be a lover girl and i'm always gonna believe in that fairy tale love is gonna happen i'm make it happen like period <laughs> what life lesson did i learn the hard way <sighs> y'all gonna make me emotional hold the fuck up the life lesson that I learned the hard way is no one's going to be there for you except yourself. So you got to show up for yourself, lift yourself up. You got to put yourself together, get ready, get up that bed. Remember how beautiful of a person you are and never forget who you truly are on the inside. What motivates you to work hard? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It is the future I want and the things I want to accomplish. Can't really say a lot about your goals because negative energy. Mm. Speaking of negative energy, no. Holy Spirit, activate. Holy Spirit, activate. Activate. All right, let's go. Life I want, baby girl, I'ma have it. And that's what motivates me. Anyways, I'm taking a little break. Another thing, my dumbass fucking burn myself right here. And I'm like, what is that? Favorite artist. <laughs> Why am I so weird? I'm sorry. Drake. That's my man. Dead. It's just Drake, okay? Like, I don't know when that became a thing, an obsession, but apparently recently it's been Drake. But girl is Janae Aiko, Olivia Rodrigo. Everyone wants to know, and everybody wants to know this question. How is your current relationship status? BFFR. Where are you from? I'm from LA. I was born and raised in LA slash Ontario. Half my life. Who is your favorite sibling? I know my siblings watching this want to know this. Actually, I don't know if I have a favorite anymore. I used to have a favorite, but now that I'm like grown, <laughs> I'm grown. <laughs> um, that's not really a nice thing to say. I don't know, I have a favorite for like different things. Like my little sister is my favorite to like talk shit, to like hang out, to like have a lit period time. It's my little sister cause she's crazy and I'm like more calm. And then my older sister, she's like another mom. She's my favorite cause she actually like be on my shit sometimes, but don't tell her that. <laughs> so, sorry Daisy. 
And with my older brother, we just have that goofy bond. Like we always have, and I've always been close to him. Like he just hears me out. So do my other siblings, but like, sometimes you want like a guy's point of view, you know? So I go to him, but all our bonds are different. How do you even ask this? It says, how do you be a bad bitch? <laughs> well, step what? No, I'm just kidding. Girl or guy, cause we don't discriminate here. You're a fucking bad bitch, no matter what anyone says. Like you gotta have that mentality, like I am that bitch. And get your ass to get ready every motherfucking day. And just honestly, mindset, positivity, getting cute. Everyone's a bad bitch. And period. Where do you see yourself in five years? Time just keeps going, right? I'm very private, like everything I keep inside, like I'm a Sagittarius by the way. I get like nervous. Having my degree, just because that's something I've always wanted since I was little. I mean, you don't need a t degree to be successful or anything, but since I was little, I was like, I'm gonna be that bitch and I'm gonna get my degree no matter what. So Jasmine, if you see this in five years, you better have your fucking degree. I'm gonna have my G-Wagon, I'm gonna have my degree, and I'm gonna have my dream house. I'm gonna start my family in five years and I'm gonna be successful in this content creating and being a YouTuber, we got this. Why did I dye my hair again? Why did I dye it back to black? Okay, funny story. <laughs> I'm gonna put a picture up here. Okay, well I had it blonde and it was cute, don't get me wrong, but a lot of things are changing in my life right now. Jasmine always want a big change because she extra. One thing about me is I'm a little extra, okay? Apparently, I'm a lot of extra. <laughs> I'm a lot, okay? I'm just a lot. Because I'm back and I'm better. I'm on Baby is forever. Do you want kids and how many? The most I want is three. But, like, two is okay, God. Even one is okay, God. You know what I'm saying? Not right now. Five years, like I said. I want my kids to grow up like with a healthy family and like, you know? When was your first kiss? Awkward. My first kiss, my first kiss was eighth grade, seventh, eighth. It was just like a little awkward. I don't know, you know. I was like, I never kissed anyone. How do you kiss? And then my best friend in middle school was like, girl, just watch a video. And I'm like, huh? And she's like, yeah, and I'm like, well, I'm not weird like that, so I don't know. And he walked me to class, and he kissed me, and it was like, oh my god. It wasn't even a big deal. What was your favorite date? Those who know me know I've only had one real relationship. Honestly, my favorite dates in general were the ones where we would do little creative things together and just be home, matching outfits and the little things that count, you know? I just love those the most, so. What is your celebrity crush? I know y'all know this. Drake. Mm. 21, can you do something for me? Please don't tell me about your model if you ain't been in bug. <laughs> How do you grow and remain positive? Don't discourage yourself from being positive and don't let anyone discourage you from growing. And I just remain positive by like seeing the good in everything, even in bad situations. Just see the good, just see the good. Like, do you want to remember life as bad or do you want to remember life as the good times? Remember everything is going to be okay and you're going to be okay. Me personally, I grow from all of my mistakes. Another question y'all want to know is what I be doing on my free time and what I like to do for fun. On my free time and what I like to do for fun, I like to spend it with the people I love. Two, I love to make content. Like I love to take videos and pictures. I found love with like going to Beverly Hills and like visualizing my future being there. Like, I don't know. I just love the energy there. Like. Who takes their pictures and videos? I know y'all nosy asses wanna know. Of course, my sister, what the? My sister and my sister-in-law, 
my sisters. Let me say my sisters. 21, can you do something for me? Why did you want to start YouTube? Why? Honestly, I love being on camera. I don't know why. I guess you, I'm a singer, like I said. I like to dance. Duh, drama class. Like, what? I was in theater, like, for a long time and I was in cheer and I was in drill being in front of people like the audience doesn't scare me I've always done it for fun and YouTube always been like something I've always 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 wanted to do and whoever knows me knows that I've always wanted to do YouTube and be a content creator and an influencer what do you look for in a man I'm not looking for a man let's start there honestly I don't ask for a lot, if I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I've ever wanted was for someone to love me the way I love. Someone who's gonna understand me, someone who's gonna reassure me, someone who is gonna be mature. Someone, damn, I'm like, list, list, list. Someone to truly, truly, truly love me for me. Are you toxic? If so, what are your toxic traits? I'm not toxic, just don't test me. I've always said, don't push the last button okay do not do not say is that i turn petty and like i'm just not me and then people are like i don't know that side of you and you're not the same person and i'm like no that's not me i'm so sorry like that's just my toxic side what's mine is mine <laughs> don't fuck with what's mine okay like that's it like i don't know i'm not that toxic what do you plan on doing for your 21st birthday my 21st birthday hey, hey, hey. So if y'all don't know, I'm going to be 21 next month, December 21st. I don't know why, but since I was like in elementary school, you know how they tell you to write down your goals? Well, one of mine, obviously, I've always remembered, when I'm 21, I'm going to skydive. Well, guess what? She's going to skydive for her birthday. Dreams come true, okay? Make it happen. Get your ass up. Okay, I'd rather skydive and travel. At my party? Just to get the experience. Have you ever broken someone's heart or broken up with someone? Um, I have. I'm sorry. When did you last get your heart broken? Boom. Y'all just like, pa pa pa. I have to say, but I feel like I get my heart broken is my fault. And it is. Because I'm big. I'm very big on like knowing when something's going to happen and knowing like when something is wrong. I got in my heart broken so many times. I was young and dumb. It just breaks my heart to know like what I would allow myself to go through. Don't bring yourself down and don't ever forget your worth, baby girl. And don't ever love someone more than you love yourself. Have you ever had surgery or do you want to get surgery? No, I never got surgery. The thing I want to get done is probably like my lips and my veneers. I don't want a BBL, whatever. If I don't have ass, I don't have titties, whatever. Like, I really don't care. Cause when I'm old, have you ever got cheated on? No. Do you want to get married in the future? I was like over guys and like, fuck them. I was like over guys and I was like, nope. So I met someone and this was in 2020 i met him and we found love changed my mind yeah i want to get married what the i'm a wife <laughs> if i'm not for the fucking streets that's one thing about me and i never been a hoe i never been a cheater in 2027 wifey okay what is your type don't y'all want to know I'm like Drake, <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's just, I don't have a type. Honestly, if your personality is like A1. What is one thing I've accomplished that I am very proud of? Knowing my self worth. I just graduated by the way. <laughs> Working my ass off for that this year. Everything, oh my God. A lot has happened in 2022. Like it's so crazy. Like I got my first car. 2022 was my year of just realizing a lot. Realizing that life happens. Life puts you through things and teaches you lessons 
to see if you're strong enough to overcome them, okay? I want peace more than anything and happiness. Life is short and to just do you and work hard. But that's it for today's video, everyone. Please like, comment, share, subscribe to your mom, to your cousin, to your friend's friend. But thank you for listening. Yo, I hope you guys enjoyed it. But we out. And remember, always be a bad bitch.